वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इन द माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ड रिगार्डिंग द कॉम्पैक्ट ऑपरेटर लेट अस रिकॉल व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ कॉम्पैक्ट ऑपरेटर लेट एक्स बी अ हिलबर्ट स्पेस एंड टी इज एन ऑपरेटर व्हिच इज लीनियर डिफाइन ऑन एच इफ यू वांट टू से दैट टी इज अ कॉम्पैक्ट इफ एवरी बाउंडेड सीक्वेंस इन एच If t of x n has conversion subsequence, that means you have a bounded sequence is in domain, and its image have a conversion subsequence, then it is called compact operator. We have discussed certain results on a compact operator. We have seen that bounded operator defined on k n, bounded linear operator defined on k n, is always compact, and we also have proved that if if a a compact linear operator is there then it is always bounded but the converse of that is not true we also have proved that if you can have h t is a bounded linear operator from h to h and the range space of this t is finite then t is compact we also have proved that if tn is converged to t in each tn is compact then t is also compact we also have discussed that if t is a compact then its adjoint is also compact so these are the some results which we have discussed in my previous video here we are talking about the spectrum of this compact operator to see that spectrum let us have the first results on that which tells you that let h be a hilbert space and t is a bounded linear operator which is a also a compact operator and then it says that the eigen spectrum other than zero that means the non zero approximate eigen values of t is also an eigen values of t now let us recall what are the definition of this two quantity which i have mentioned here so this is known as eigen spectrum of t which is defined as set of all scalars such that t minus lambda i is not 1 1 not 1 1 means kernel of t minus lambda i is non zero that means there exists x belongs to h with norm of x is 1 that means there is a non zero element such that t minus lambda i x is zero what is approximate eigen spectrum of t is defined as is set of all lambda belongs to k such that t minus lambda i is not bounded zero or i can say that there exists a sequence xn belongs to h with norm of xn is equal to 1 t minus lambda i xn is tending to zero so this is another way is to looking at this uh, t minus lambda i is not bounded below so here we need to prove this statement so for that i am starting with an element here and so that that element is also here that means let us have a lambda which is belongs to approximate eigen spectrum of t minus 0 that means a lambda is non zero and as i have talked about t minus lambda i is not bounded below it is equivalent to saying that there is a non zero sequence such that t minus lambda i xn is tending to zero so as per that we can have there exists a sequence xn belongs to x with norm of xn is equal to 1 such that t minus lambda i xn tends to zero but this will suggest that that is norm of xn is equal to 1 it will suggest that the sequence xn is bounded we know that this is bounded sequence and as we have given t is compact and applying the definition of a compactness i can say that t of xn has conversion subsequence 
let us say that conversion subsequence is t of x and j so t of x and j is a conversion subsequence of t of x and j let us suppose that this will converge to a point x so let x is equal to limit of t of x and j as j tends to infinity now t of x and j as t minus lambda i x n is tending to 0 t minus lambda i x n j is also tending to 0 therefore t, t of x n j minus lambda x n j is tends to 0 therefore i can say the limit of t of x n j is same as limit of lambda times x n j as j tends to infinity so that means I can write down this is equal to limit of uh, lambda times x and j as j tends to infinity. But this will suggest that norm of lambda times x and j is tending to norm of x. So that will say that mode of lambda into norm of x and j is tending to norm of x. But this is what x and j is equal to 1 because norm of x and is 1. So that's why I can say that mode of lambda is tending to norm of x. So this is a constant sequence which converts to this. Therefore, the constant sequence is converts to this quantity. So that means that norm of x is same as modulus of lambda. So now what we have to prove is lambda is an eigenvalue so as you know that lambda is non-zero x is also non-zero so now i'm starting with t of x what is t of x is is a limit the value of x is a limit of lambda times x and j as j tends to infinity but if i apply t and applying the t is linear that this will gives you lambda times limit of t of x and j as j tends to infinity and t of x and j is again we have x due to this one so that's why we can have tx is equal to lambda x for non-zero x hence t minus lambda i x is zero which tells you that lambda is belongs to eigen spectrum of t but this lambda is non-zero so that is minus so that proves that approximate eigen spectrum minus zero is subset of eigen spectrum of t minus zero now to prove the converse side it is very easy you just take that xn is equal to x because when you are starting with lambda is belongs to eigen spectrum of t minus 0 you can have you can just go backward in this proof you will achieve the another inequality so it proves that both sides that means these two sets are equal now the next thing that we need to prove is the dimension this is our objective so claim is a dimension of eigen space that is a kernel of t minus lambda i is finite suppose not suppose that the dimension of this kernel of t minus lambda i infinite then by gram smith orthonormalization normalization process we have an infinite sequence infinite ortho normal subset u1 u2 up to so on of kernel of t minus lambda i we have t of un is lambda times un for every and this we have so by orthonormalization process we can have such orthonormal set which is in the kernel of t minus lambda i now let us observe for n is not equal to m what is t of un minus t of um square? 
by applying the T of u n is lambda times u n minus lambda times u m square you will have. So this is mode of lambda square norm of u n minus u m square. So this is mode of lambda square and by applying this inner product and the norm relation will have this. So this is mode lambda square inside you have un un minus un um minus un um plus um um but this set un is orthonormal so this will gives me one this is also gives me one and this two quantity will get zero as n is not equal to m so this will gives me two times mode lambda square so it means that t of un is does not have conversion subsequence because the difference of this two is always constant so but this un is a bounded sequence so we note that here norm of un is equal to 1 for every n belongs to n therefore the sequence un is a bounded sequence but t of un does not have conversion subsequence because of this term is constant and it is never tending to zero so that's why which have a contradiction with t is compact therefore the dimension of kernel of t minus lambda i is finite we got this contradiction because we have assumed it is infinite now the next result is again for the self adjoint operator self adjoint compact operator let us state that result first so let h be a hilbert space and t belongs to bl of h be a compact self adjoint operator then through that mode of t a norm of t or norm of norm of minus norm of t is belongs to eigen spectrum of t means that norm t or minus norm t are the eigen values of t that is another way is to state this we already have proved in my one of the previous video if t is self adjoint then that will implies the small t and capital t is belongs to approximate eigen spectrum of t where this small t is nothing but the infimum of lambda such that lambda belongs to wt where wt is the numerical range of t and capital mt is supremum of lambda such that lambda belongs to wt and this is possible because this uh, numerical range is always a bounded subset of r for the self adjoint operator so as t is self adjoint it's this infimum and supremum is exist for the numerical range and we have also proved that that r belongs to approximate eigen spectrum of t in fact for the normal operator this approximate eigen spectrum and eigen spectrums are same and self adjoint operators are normal operator so that's why it is also i can say that small mt and capital mt are the eigen values of t so we also have proved that norm of t is nothing but the maximum of the small mt and capital m which is also we have proved in my previous video a link is given in the description you can just see what is the proof of both this statement which i am explaining you here now due to this let us observe now if you have this small mt plus capital mt is greater than or equal to 0 that means this is positive that means that this value should be bigger and positive so that points i can say that this will implies that capital mt is greater than or equal to 0 and 
capital mt is bigger than modulus of small mt and therefore it says that due to this the maximum is this capital mt so the this norm mt is belongs to eigen spectrum of t so i can say that norm of t is equal to capital mt which is belongs to approximate eigen spectrum of t if small mt plus capital mt is negative it means that cap the small mt is bigger that means mode of small mt is bigger than this and that will suggest that a norm of t is a small mt due to again by this one so therefore this will says that small mt is nothing but the minus of norm of t and this small mt is belongs to approximate eigen spectrum of t so it says that either norm t is belongs to approximate eigen spectrum minus t minus of norm t is belongs to approximate and as t is compact just now we have proved that approximate eigen spectrum minus 0 is same as eigen spectrum minus 0 so therefore this norm t or minus norm t belongs to approximate eigen spectrum of t that means they are the eigen values of t now there is last theorem which we have to assume without proof for the spectrum theorem for compact self adjoint operator so let us see what is the statement for that so this is the theorem says that spectral theorem for compact self adjoint operator which tells you that let h be a hilbert space and t belongs to bl of h which is a set of all boundary linear operator that means t is boundary linear operator will be a non zero compact self adjoint operator compact operator means for every bounded sequence xn t of xn has convergence set sequence then there exists infinite sequence of real number which is decreasing and the orthonormal subset u1 u2 up to so on of h such that tx is equal to this that means this operator can be expressed as this one for every x so that is the a spectral theorem for compact self adjoint operator and further if this uns are finite so it is infinite then sn tend to tending to zero for every further if this sequence un is infinite then sn tending to zero as n tends to infinity that means this sequence which we have here it is tends to zero of un is infinite so in this as it for this video let us recall what we have did in this we have discussed the spectral for the compact operator which tells you that a spectral of non zero spectrum of uh, eigen values which is same as approximate eigen values of and compact operator we also have proved that norm t or minus norm t they are the eigen values of a compact self adjoint operator and lastly we have stated the spectral theorem for compact self adjoint operator that's it thank you very much if you like this video please press the like button do subscribe see you in next video till then bye bye sayonara